are suffering and begging. Please, this is my second home, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I gave birth to my son. If anything happened to the people of Kenya, we are also going to be affected. You don't need to have billions. Whatever the Lord has put in your heart, please go ahead and donate. And the good Lord will help you. We hear about flood only in the Bible. But ladies and gentlemen, when you hear that there is a flood somewhere, I want you to know that I am at this spot where it is happening live here in Kenya. It is not just the hearsay. We have to pay transport down here to come and see what is happening. A lot of people were living here a lot of souls have gone. If you know how to pray, please ask God to put a stop to this. So many souls have gone. A lot of people have, their houses have been dismissed and kept there. People were living out there. So many people were living there. But they have, their houses have been you know, swept away. Please come to the aid of Kenya. Pray for Kenya. It is not so easy. Lives have gone. Please come to the aid of Kenya. Kenyans are suffering and begging. Please, this is my second home, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I gave birth to my son. If anything happened to the people of Kenya, we are also affected. I beg you guys, come. If you know how to donate, donate, please. I beg you. I beg you. We need your help. Prayerfully, financially, anyhow. Bring all the aids, please, people. That people of Kenya will have every cause to glorify God. Please, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 25, I was hungry, you gave me food. You came through for me. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Come down. As you can see, I can't even go in there. It is so terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your generosity. I've not seen anything close to this. If you check, they can see the noise. You can see that. Right? Look at this. so many people are displaced and they have nowhere to go. Come on, guys. Come to the aid of Kenyans. We all need you. This is a natural disaster. Alright? Please come. Come. We truly need you guys. I beg you. Oh my goodness. No one will survive in here. Please, I beg you. Please come to the emergency. People are dying. Those who a natural disaster is characterized by abnormal intensity of a natural uh, you know uh, agent such as a flood a drought just like what has happened here in kenya and when that happens you know, we, the living, we do not have control over uh, the loss of lives, all right? We do not have control whatsoever. But there's something we can do. Uh, we, who are breathing, we need to look out for those who have been able to come out of the flood. And you here is what we can do, all right? You can donate whatever you think a normal human being can use. You see, when you come out of flood, um, you, you don't have blanket, you don't have a home, you would need a lot of things. So guys, wherever you are, I will beseech you, my brothers, my sisters, to please come. Ladies and gentlemen, when Kenyans you hear today. that there is flood in Kenya, we're not just talking about ordinary flood. You can see behind, a lot of things are happening here, okay? So many people were living here, but they have been displaced. A lot of souls have gone. Please, wherever you are, come to the aid of Kenya. Pray at your house. Pray for Kenya. Pray for the people of Kenya. Pray for God to put a stop to this because a lot of souls have gone. Many people have lost their lives and properties. Please pray for Kenya, okay? Yes, as you are praying, I just want to drag your mind and attention on uh, the book of James chapter 2, verse 17. The Bible says, faith without work, faith without taking action is nothing but that, okay? As we are praying, let us put our resources together. Let us help 
those who are in need. Because at the end of the day, this is what God is going to use as a measure. I was hungry. You gave me food. I was in the hospital. All right. You came visiting me. All right. I, you, you know, we cannot control the fact that this flood has taken so many lives. But those ones who are still breathing, who have come out of this flood, we just have to pull our resources together to go and do the work of Christ. God wants us to be his hands and feet. Oh my goodness, it is a pathetic situation. I'm telling you. So pathetic. 